Republican state senator has introduced a bill that would require the state's Board of Regents to survey all employees at the main public universities to determine their political party. Senator Jim Carlin did not offer an explanation for his bill, but it comes after accusations that Iowa's public universities repress the free speech of conservative students. The order would cover all employees at the University of Iowa, Iowa State University and the University of North. The bill, introduced this week, would require the survey to hide the personal identity of the respondents but would separate the results out by job class of share this article share Carlin's bill requires the anonymous survey results to be delivered to the Iowa legislature by December 3rd earlier this month all three of Iowa's public universities apologized for egregious incidents suppressing free speech on their campuses largely affecting conservatives in one case Michael Braze a conservative UI dental student was summoned for a disciplinary hearing for debating a dean who condemned then President Donald Trump's executive order banning some types of diversity. I would like to start. By apologizing, UI College of Dentistry Dean David Dean Johnson told the legislature earlier this month, according to the Waterloo Cedar Falls, Michael's comments in front of the committee on Wednesday lay bare his concerns and fear that he felt regarding his educational future at our college, and, for that, I'm sorry. In a related move, the Iowa House's Education Committee voted on Wednesday to advance a bill that would make Iowa the first state in the nation to eliminate tenure at public university. Tenure is a lifetime academic appointment that is meant to allow scholars to pursue free lines of inquiry, but Republicans in the legislature are arguing that it just protects bad professors. As we have seen clearly in our region universities, there is no longer diversity of thought, Republican rat scholar Wheel said, according to the Sioux City Journal. Why are we giving professors? There's a lifetime appointment on the taxpayer dime? Miller adds, this simply removes a mechanism that protects bad professors. Representative Mary Massinger, a Democrat, said she plans to fight the bill. I don't believe this is creating a good impression of our state and our educational system, she said. It will suffer greatly if we were to abandon or eliminate tenure.